the Talon Mercery is amazing. No, seriously, he's amazing. Uh, this is the biggest turnaround I have ever seen. Uh, that never has a, a balance change made such a change. Um, wow. He is now a fantastic, uh, amazing character, and the great end to the Reckoning DLC I had hoped for. Uh, yeah, literally... Get him out again, guys. Uh, he's incredible. And I'm going to show you in this gameplay. I'm playing with my buddy uh, Dominoes again and his buddy Lollicorn. And we got a pug with us. To an unknown, unknown gold. And we're going to get um, London again. So, <laughs> yeah, you're going to see London. And, but we're going to be taking on the Reapers. Yeah. So much for my Cerberus gameplays. Um, I'm going to pick him again for the next video guide. Now, I am rocking both the Omnibows because... Well, both the arrows, uh, because they're amazing now. They are absolutely amazing. And um, for a number of reasons. Uh, the heavy melee used to take three seconds to charge up. It now takes like 0.5 of a second, and you can just smash it, just look, smash him away. Um, I'm rocking the concussive arrows for pretty much all enemies, apart from the bosses. And it wrecks all those enemies, and I'll tell you why. Um, apart from being hilarious... Uh, it's just, you know, look at them. They're, not only are they off their feet, they're off the ground. Uh, they go absolutely soaring. Um, and, you know, normally this would be, like, it could be a nuisance sometimes. Sometimes that kind of novelty where the enemy's flying around is just throwing off your shots and stuff. But no, this is literally um, great for just destroying phantoms and just absolutely destroying them um and just anybody i mean because literally this is a squishy ass build guys uh, it is so squishy and you actually want the enemy off their feet and off the ground as much as you can look i'm going to come around this corner and they're going to drop me uh, <laughs> it's just so fast yeah he's squishy but the, you do you you got some incredible survivability just because the enemy just can't get any footing with you. Uh, those concussive arrows are great, and um, if you might notice, and they're all freezing and stuff, all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to recommend the chill evolution. Absolutely, I tried shock, and that's just kind of pointless because um, the whole benefit of shock is it, it doesn't damage over time, but concussive arrows are not about their damage. You know, they're they're about staggering and just keeping the enemy off their feet and all that kind of good stuff and I thought that oh, shock would be great because I'm going to knock them off their feet, they're going to get up and they're going to be spazzing out because they're electrocuted no, the, the electric effect lasts while they're flying through the air and by the time they hit the ground and get back up they're just good to go again so really the shock evolution for me at least was only worthwhile for doing damage over time and you don't need it with the concussive arrow. Just don't. Um, so I've gone for chill. So now, basically, well, after I sent them flying for another few seconds, they're really receptible to all kinds of damage. So that's all good. Um, but those that last literally where I stop with the evolutions, I, I take force and damage in the first one. That's what's sending them flying and all that kind of good stuff. And then I take the chill. And that's it for uh, concussive arrows. Um, if you were to fully spec that out, I'd probably recommend an extra arrow count because, um, you know, I, even though I've just said it's not about the damage of them, they do really good damage. And I don't even know where the numbers are coming from, to be honest. Because you look at the, the, the stats, and I will show you at the end. That I'm going to show the build at the end. Um, you look at the stats and the numbers, like, tiny. It's a tiny number, that they do, but that's for each individual arrow. And um, you shoot five, I think. You shoot, like, five arrows at the same time now, thanks to the buff. And, you know, that just adds up. And, you know, you can, for the extra, you can do six. So, literally, I, I, I know he's all about grenades. You think, oh, surely you want grenade capacity. No, um, you, you... Because now he's not all about his cane trip mines, you literally are firing off three melee, heavy melees, before you use up another grenade. And, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's more than enough for you to just sort of maintain your your... Your ammo, basically. I, I've, I don't, I don't, I've never run into problems. I've been playing with other grenade characters too. They've probably hated me, but uh, well, you know, um, no, I'm not running into any problems with main, you know, keeping maintaining his uh, 
He's playing. <laughs> Look at that stuff. That is funny. Uh, this is this is why I wanted the bows to work because this is more fun than those just running around with trip mines could ever be. Just yeah, uh, that is, it's good good fun to be had, especially when you're flinging phantoms and all that kind of good stuff. I have played this guy against every single enemy faction and every single enemy faction I can wreck. <laughs> I can, he literally takes them all down. Um, but let me get more into that. Now, my uh, my build for the trip mines has not changed. It's still all damage. Uh, you know, damage, armor damage, more damage. Um, you, you don't need the radius, uh, literally, because the, the you, you, your trip mines are traps. Uh, you know, uh, they're great for doing objectives uh, when you're trying to do devices and hacks. And, uh, even when you're trying to do escorts, actually, you know. You literally, uh, you, you know, you just... Cover your ass with uh, and where you're going with the trip mines and pretty much anything that tries to come at you is going to be destroyed. Um, I'll also do it for like um, boss enemies as well, like the brutes, the ones that are really going to charge in and try and take me out. That's like the worst thing they can do. Um, so I, what things I'm going to recommend you get the trip mines out in a battle for is uh, things like the phantoms, the dragoons, the brutes. Um, Banshees, Praetorians, and you know, and and then if you're ever in close combat with like, uh, well, no, no, ignore that. Listen, what I'm saying is, take out for those charging enemies, and um, and for doing your your objectives. Uh, that, that's what you want to use your trip lines for, because then basically you can just make your own little barricade. Uh, you can take out bosses normally though with the armor piercing arrows and they're really really great uh, they do a ton of damage but they do dick to uh, shields and barriers that's why you want concussive arrows because um i don't i don't remember reading anything about it but concussive arrows do a lot of damage to barriers and shields uh, they really do so much like the krogan warlord you want to like you want to be rocking both the hammers with him you want to be rocking both your arrows with this guy this just you can take on everything. Like I said, I can take on every faction with this build. Absolutely every single faction. Uh, I, this is going to happen to me a few times in this game. I was absolutely raging. Uh, just look. Um, I, my, I, think, I think i got a broken ass controller, guys. Because every time I try to use an ops pack, my guy brings out his missile and it gets me killed. Because I need the ops pack. And obviously the switching uh, of the of, to the missile is just leaving me more vulnerable in, in my already very vulnerable state. But no, let me uh, stay on topic here. See, now with the armor-piercing ones, they, they just do a load of damage now. They really are quite heavy hitters. Um, what I've done with that, I've gone with, I believe it's damage, um, armor weakening. You you might want to try Shredder for damage over time, but that's I wouldn't recommend it because... Um, because armor weakness. Because look, look how quick. I, that's just look at that. That's really good. That's really good. That's a melee as well. Like this is the Omnibo melee. I just um, and I got, and I've just found that it synergizes really nicely with my wraith. Um, on the wraith. Oh, see, that's me. I tried to use an ops pack, and there's my bloody rocket launcher again. <clears throat> what I've been. What I can do is I can just go armor piercing arrow. Shoot the wraith. Armor piercing arrow. Shoot the wraith, and then I do another armor piercing arrow, and that makes me. And because I do it instantly after I empty the clip of the wraith, the wraith reloads as I'm firing the next armor piercing arrow, and you know, and then I can, and then I just sort of put more armor piercing on if I need it, and then I just repeat the cycle, and it just does take out bosses super quick. Um, f you know, when, with the Banshees and stuff, though, I do really like to take out their barriers first with uh, concussive arrows, because they it takes two. It takes, like, two shots uh, of concussive arrows to take out the Banshees' barrier. Uh, yeah, and then I, and I'll... I'll so most of the time, I'll just waste a, a shot and go straight for my armor-piercing just to start chewing through it. Because it does. Um, the armor-piercing arrows do really nice damage to health and armor. They do a ton. But, like... The execution of pistol, in that sense. But like I said, you d they won't do anything to shields and barriers. That's why you want to sort of get out your concussive arrows for that, because they do loads. They do absolutely loads. Like I said, it takes two shots to take out the barri the banshees' barriers, or at least leave her with one bar of it, and you know that's not an issue. But look, boom. <laughs> and that was just the <laughs> that's the armor piece seeing. It's. Um... They're really, really powerful now, guys. Also, with the Wraith, I can also rock the Omni uh, Blade for the shotguns, which gives me that 50... Um, I think it's a 50% increase in melee damage, which is, like, the best um, mod for melee damage. Uh, 
Yeah, so it, that just works really great for the character because the omni the omni bow is a melee attack, and it's one hell of a, a melee attack now. But yeah, that's it, guys. It's it's kind of the gameplay is kind of like the Krogan Warlord now, which I, I clearly what it was they were going for. You could just see it in the mechanics of the character, but now it works. So that's the difference. Um, you you just you concussive for shield for for all your trash enemies, and then you'd whip out your armor piercing arrow for the big armor targets, and then you've got and then you've got Kane Trip Mines is a really great. Um, it's just a really cool power, actually, and now it they, now it feels even better than it did before. Before it was just this really powerful mine, and it gave you some reason to play the character. But now that you use them like situationally, and and it feels clever. It feel it is it is really um, it just really complements the character. It just really gels and feels nice. He's a lot of fun to play now. Uh, you absolutely got to do it, guys. I hope you can see the damage and the carnage I can create with this guy. He is. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Overpowered. No, he's good. He's uh, absolutely amazing. Now, for his passives, um, I really thought. Obviously, you're wondering where's all my points going now. For his passives, I've only put three points into it. Um, you might want to skip them all together. I, I know that the, the bow benefits from power damage and melee damage. It all stacks. But literally, I've got three points in my passives here, guys. And look at the damage I'm doing already. And I'm pretty sh convinced I don't need the 10% the power bonus that I'm getting from those uh, from his passives at the moment. You can go ahead and skip those if you like. But the reason I do take those three for those three points in the passive is because it gives me 10% weapon bonus and I do want that um, just because you've seen how, like I told you how I'm fighting the bosses it's it's arrow shoot arrow shoot arrow shoot and that's obviously going to be a much more efficient process if my weapon does damage you know what I mean um, but then okay now we get into his fitness which does not exist i have gone for full omni bow damage just max literally it's all bow attack it's bow damage bow martial artist i don't even remember what they call it. i think it's called killing spree if i remember correctly and look at that i didn't even know he was there he just waltzed in front of that and went flying fun fun character to play now um Oh yeah, and then the last one's obviously like more bow damage, and it, it you just destroy. Uh, you absolutely destroy. For the mods that I'm rocking, uh, you still need the grenade capacity. You still absolutely need the grenade capacity. Everything you do is grenades. Um, for your weapon bonus, take the strength enhancer. That's what's wrecking the stage here. It's the strength enhancer and that uh, omni blade thing on my shotgun. Um, I'm using warp ammo on him, uh, just because it's you know. It's damn good ammo, to be honest. You could go with armor piercing if you like, uh, drill if you haven't got that. But I'm gonna recommend warp, uh, just so you can just deal with everything. Then uh, you really can. You've got concussive armor piercing and warp ammo. You're just ready to take on everything. And believe it or not, for his armor bonus, I am using a power amplifier, not a cyclonic. Mod you might want to use a cyclonic modulator, guys, because it is he is super squishy. Um, but I was like, even with the Geth, I, I didn't even run into that many problems. I think Cerberus gives me the most issues. Just because I, I'm Cerberus, I'm like a huge aggro sponge for Cerberus. The Atlases just love to missile me, and I just get hand cannon from Phantoms all the fucking time. But no, uh, they, they, they were giving me the most problems, and, it's, and it was only because of um, attacks from enemies I didn't see. Uh, I, you know, when, if I spot those enemies, I was taking them down. It's, and the Geth really weren't even giving me an issue. This guy is really, really good now. As like I, he has literally, literally rocketed uh, like to the top. Um, he's second best now, I think. Second best character they've released. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to make that claim. The the uh, you know Edie's still <laughs> just incredible. <laughs> she's still yeah, she's still kind of boss. So she's got all that survivability and damage output. Whereas this guy is just incredible damage output, but insanely insanely squishy and um, you know what guys I think he needs to be because uh, can you see the damage I'm doing out here this is really really good um, yeah so now 
I'm going to say it, the Talon Mercery is now the second best character in Reckoning as far as I'm concerned. Oh, look at this, just dead. I, I, I'm getting those kills every single time. I think Dom's running around with the, the Geth Infiltrate. With, no, he's not, sorry, that was the last game. But uh, Dom's rocking the Asari. Uh, uh, we've got somebody with a particle rifle and the, the Pug's rocking a Juggernaut. But yeah, it's like, they can't keep up with me. <laughs> they can't keep up with me. I mean, this, I am pleasantly surprised. I, but I literally, I, I literally, I reset the class. I promoted the class. And I just thought, okay, new test drive. So we've, I'm going to pretend like I never played him before. This is brand new. And I went, and I thought, I, and, I, and I took the same approach again. He's going, I'm going to give the bows a go. And I started off with a bronze game. And I just, I'm, I'm going to take, a, I'm going to hide for a bit, guys, because I was just getting eaten by goo there. As um, I'm going to hide. Uh, see, I got I mixed up then. I said, no, I'm going to give the bows a chance. And, and and play and as I did a bronze game and I was like no this is a joke I don't need to be in bronze I'm just destroying this so then I instantly went to silver and I, I just was like going well these um, well these uh, armor pier I was just using the armor piercing at first because I, I saw the damage stat in the armor piercing I thought oh this is all I'm going to need so I was just running around armor piercing all things and then just shooting them and that was wrecking everything in silver um but then I thought, oh, this, uh, it's like, am I missing out here? Let me ch let me put some points into the concussive arrows. Yeah, there they go. And like I said, I went in for shock, and that was kind of pointless. So then I started going with chill, and I was like, going, oh, okay, that, no, no, chill holds its own. It, it holds its own. It's really great for me to deal with all these trash mobs. And then I finally took the build to gold. Well, I say finally, as soon as I got into like uh, level 11, I started playing gold. And. I just found out that no, it's like, no, I, these concussive arrows wasn't just me messing about with them. Uh, they're essential. Uh, it's like you can just go uh, armor piercing on them, um, silver. Uh, but as soon as you get to gold, you'll find that the armor piercing arrows aren't going to really deal with all the shields and stuff, uh, especially if you went to platinum. So yeah, take the concussive arrows, guys, because they they just eat through them. And there's no reason not to. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Like I've, I, 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 I'm surprised, and I, I don't want you guys to be aware that you don't need all those power bonuses that he's got. Um, I think the best thing to get out of his passes would be the extra recharge uh, on, because he can, he can create his own grenades. Um, you know, and and that's actually affected by you know the weight that you you know you're if you're carrying heavier guns, it takes longer for you to make your own grenades. Um, and you can obviously just increase that uh, speed even further with. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the game because I'm still amazed <laughs> about what I was doing. It's gonna, you can you can create more grenades if you take that last evolution six in his passive. And if you were going to uh, spec out his passive, that's why I recommend just go for power, power, recharge. But you don't need it. I mean, look at this. Look what I can do without it. Uh, I'm using a power amplifier, and I've always have I, since I because when I started from level one and just grew upwards, I just found that I'm able to kill. So I'm, I, I'm just, I can send the enemy flying. So I, you know, that was keeping me alive, and then I'm just do and I'm killing them, uh, you know, quickly. And I just found that yeah, I am squishy, and if I take a hit, I normally go down. But this so I can go so long without taking a hit with this guy. I can really just take charge and take control. I, I I I was I am so surprised. I mean, it, it's a huge difference. I, when I saw the buffs, I was like, "Going oh, no, this is good stuff." Yes, faster reach, faster speed on the melee, essential. More damage, of course. Extra arrows, cool idea. Though no, that's going to work. Yeah, definitely going to work. I didn't even think of that. All this stuff I've seen is good, good, good stuff. And then I thought, yeah, we're going to get a guy now. Which um, I thought we, I thought I really genuinely thought when I started is going. I'm probably still going to be like trip mine heavy, but now I can use the bows to some effect. And it just quickly became no. I am all about the bow. It's like the 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 trip mines are literally just used for traps. They, they you know how they oh they were clearly meant to be used and just wow. Now um, it's late as hell uh, here. Now it's like um, it's twenty past three in the morning. <laughs> And I got work <laughs> in the morning. Um, but what I'm going to do, just because I am so excited about this gameplay and getting this build video out, I'm going to try and just 
render this and upload it overnight and hopefully you guys will see it when i'm in work because <laughs> I, I i hope you guys can um i i I, I I doubt it. I mean, I don't go around uh, checking up on all the other like Mass Effect commentators. Um, but I'm kind of hoping like I'm the first one just to like, stumble across just how incredible the bows are. Um, I don't know how many people are out there retrying the the. T I imagine it's quite a lot actually. I don't know who you people are watching, <laughs> and I wouldn't even know where to look. Um, because you know you type in Mass Effect multiplayer into YouTube and there's a ton of results, but. I, I think it'd be awesome if like I I was the f one to tell you guys just look at the bows now <laughs> look at the bows now and this is me just taking control of this hack I mean look I can I, I got my trip mine so like the en the uh, if the enemies approach the upload they get destroyed and if they manage to w slip past them I can take them down with my bow I'm I'm just going to I am going to kill so many brutes in this in this upload and it's easy uh, cuz the trip mine's still just wreck. <laughs> Look at that. The trip mine's wreck and so does the armor piercing but arrows. So it's like the, it's the banshees that are slipping in for the most part and uh, I'm ar I'm just arrowing them and shooting them and then most of the brutes are just getting destroyed on the outskirts but I I am having to hide for a bit here just because I've had some I had some really bad luck with my d-pad earlier on and I just went through a load of my equipment so I just really did, I was try, really trying to save my uh, my ops packs and all that kind of stuff but then the, my teams were just dropping because because literally literally the moment I, I, I slipped out the picture to make sure I can get my health and shields back um, they all started like dropping and struggling and I came back into the picture and now we're back in control uh, yeah <laughs> This is like a, this. That was a terrible. That's a terrible hack as well. I think there's the, the the only hack that's worse than it is the one that is smack bang in the death center of London. But um, yeah, that is just, I'm, look, I'm, I'm so confident in this guy's power that I literally just stayed in the upload circle for a while, just fighting off brutes because I can. <laughs> What's also really cool that I haven't mentioned as well uh, is just the, how the follow-up works with because um, the the heavy melee with the omnibow will basically aims for you. It's like as long as you've got an enemy in target, your character locks on to them to fire, and then what that does for you is like obviously you shoot the bow, and then you've uh, you flung the enemy, froze the enemy weaken the enemy's armor all that kind of good stuff but then it's aimed for you so you can literally just push the shoot button you don't need, you don't even need to press your like uh, you don't need to waggle your left joystick or anything you can just you're all it's aimed for you you just, you just do your heavy melee and shoot <laughs> it's it's just really good now i'm going to stick with the whole the, the the london tactic of just holding balcony for extraction and i can do it really well this is another thing you can do just hold up extraction because this i can make coming up this ramp just a death wish for him i'm just going to you know i'm just going to chip away at the enemy with my armor piercing arrows and if any of them manage to get up the slope they're going to get killed by uh, my trip mines see this guy's this guy is immense for holding the line the lollycog comes up here and brings some trouble, so I'm going to wreck this brute and then pick his ass up. But no, the the wraith works really nice with this build, guys, because like because of the whole. Um, because he is, he, uh, he's uh, his his focus is all in his melee, and you can and the wraith just sort of slips in between them, just really nice. And that's another fuck up as well. For some reason, I could not dodge roll them, <laughs> so I tried to take cover to survive the warp ball, and it was all over. So I'm just going to squirm my way out of here and head straight for LZ. I don't know what was going on then. I was literally I was hitting the A button like crazy. The only thing that annoys me about this character is that he doesn't have an overcover grab. Um, you know, going on the other side of the wall and then pressing... It even gives you the icon to do the grab, and if you press it, uh, he just shoots his arrows over, and that's not helpful. It's just... <laughs> it's not helpful at all. You, you wouldn't... Why would you do that to an enemy that's hiding behind cover? But, there you go. That is a minor complaint, because everything else is working like a charm right now. But, yeah, that's the... That's the game. <clears throat> 
Stick around though, because I am going to show you the build, even though I've pretty much told you all about it. But you can actually see it because I'm I don't really remember all the evolution names in at the top of my head. So you're going to see it now. But yo, can you, that is. I hope you can see just how good that character is now. That that is gold gameplay, and um, I think he'll be fantastic in platinum. I think he'll be absolutely fantastic. That isn't tested yet. I was just going through gold, um, just because you can. The damage you can do to armor is incredible, and you know if you can do incredible damage to armor, you can do platinum. That's pretty much it. And and he can really hold a position. To a champ, but look at that. <laughs> yeah. Alright then, here comes the build, guys. Oh, I'm just going to stick on private so we don't get another pug coming. Alright, the cane trip mine, they didn't change. I kept them all damaged. So there you go damage first, evolution, armor damage in the next one, and then damage again. Don't really need radius, guys. Uh, damage and force on the concussive other then chill. Told you that's all I did with it. Armor piercing arrows, though, I do go for damage, then I go for armor damage, and then I go for arrow count. There's the three points in the passive, then for the weapon bonus, and then literally, look, omnibow damage, killing spree, omnibow damage. Uh, and that was what was doing <laughs> all that wrecking on the field, then. And there's the wraith guys with the uh, omni blade and the high velocity barrel. So literally, get on your talent mercenaries, guys. Give them another go. Take care now.